Megan Bibb County is cracking down on their hours of operation at Amerson River Park. But why? Kalisha Moore spoke with the Parks and Beautification Director to get some answers. The curfew at Amerson River Park picked back up on Friday. If you're not out by 8 p.m., you can find yourself locked on the other side of this yellow gate. But the swift enforcement is raising some concern in the community. When you drive into Amerson River Park, there's a sign that's pretty hard to miss. Big and orange it flashes, gates locked 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. It's all a part of the gate closure the Park and Bibb County Sheriff's Office are putting back in place. Jewett Smith, who works at Amerson, says park goers have already fallen victim to not following the rules. After 8 o'clock by 8.15, whatever, 8.20, he said, I can't find him, can't find him. He said, lock the gate. I said, you sure? He said, lock the gate. We've been the billboard up all week. We got signs out here and everything. So we locked two people in last night. Michael Glisson, the county's Parks and Beautification Director, says it's something that's always been in place, but they've upped the enforcement to get people to leave the park on time. There's just been people that'll come in in the middle of the night and, you know, you know, do donuts out in the parking lot or, you know, just do things they shouldn't be doing. And, uh, you know, this is obviously the number one reason is uh, it's a safety issue. But number two is to protect the park. But park goers seem to believe that's not the biggest reason. Dante Greer says he visits Amerson River Park daily, and there's been word that the closure is because recently equipment was stolen. They they say someone stole a bunch of equipment, you know. I don't know what was stolen, you know, but pretty much chainsaws or tractors, I don't know. It was a bunch of he say, she say, but from other people who are around here all the time. No one knows what was stolen, but some park goers say they're the ones that are feeling robbed. I think they should do more of an investigation and get the people who did it, you know, but don't punish everybody else behind it, you know. In making Kalisha Moore 13 WMAZ News. Listen, confirmed that something was stolen from the park and that it's under investigation. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office declined to comment on the alleged theft at this time.